be discussing in this lecture is TCP over 2.5 and 3G wireless networks. So, so, so the 3G wireless network, the data rate of the 3G wireless network will be up to 64 kilobits per second. And, and, and it will have, so that is uh, during, uh, in, in uplink, it will be up to 64 kilobits per second. And in downlink, it will range from 115 to 384 kilobits per second. And most often the data rate will be asymmetric. It will, it will vary between uh, three to six times. It, it, it may not exceed three to six times. Okay. Uploading is limited by limited battery power. In cellular networks, asymmetry does not exceed uh, three to six times. Considering broadcast system as additional distribution media, asymmetry may reach a factor of 1000. Okay. Serious problems that may reduce throughput dramatically or bandwidth oscillations or due to dynamic resource sharing and all these things. So generally, the wireless links experience high latency, high jitter and packet loss. So considering all these things, these following suggestions were made. That is, to set up the large window size initially. TCP should support large uh, window sizes based on the bandwidth delay uh, experienced in wireless system. Okay, with the, hand, with the help of large window size and large buffer sizes, uh, this can be accomplished. A larger window of two to four segments may increase performance particularly uh, for short transmission. The another suggestion is limited transmit. So this mechanism is defined in RFC 3042 is an extension of fast retransmit or fast recovery and is mainly useful when small amount of data is to be transmitted. And also it is suggested to have a larger MTU. The larger the MTU, uh, the faster TCP increases the congestion window. Okay. And, um, and the MTU path discovery uh, according to RFC 1191 uh, should be used to employ larger segment sizes instead of assuming smaller uh, default MTU. Okay. MTU is maximum transfer unit. So, so the maximum transfer unit, if it is increased, uh, then the link layers need not uh, perform fragmentation. Uh, all these things will be uh, uh, will be reduced. Okay. So, so, so these are the so these are some of the suggestions uh, considering the wireless networks how TCP should be uh, fine tuned. So this, this is called as fine tuning the TCP. And then TCP should support selective acknowledgement. It should also support explicit congestion notification. That is whenever there is a congestion, it should be informed so that TCP can behave appropriately. And, and, and timestamp, timestamp should be included. That is TCP connection with large windows may benefit from, uh, from more frequent RTT samples. That is, uh, RTT is round trip time. So based on the round trip time, the TCP can adopt its uh, behavior. Okay. And also it is suggested not to have header compression. This TCP header compression mechanism, uh, according to RFC 1144, does not perform well in the presence of packet losses. So this mechanism should not be used. Header compression according to RFC 25007 and RFC 114, Double one, double four is not compatible with TCP options such as the selective acknowledgement or timestamps. So these are some of the uh, suggestions uh, so that TCP will better uh, will perform better in uh, wireless networks. Right. So that's it about uh, uh, mobile transport layer. So with this, uh, we are stopping this chapter, stopping this session. Have a brief summary on this. So we have discussed what is traditional TCP, how traditional TCP works, why traditional TCP cannot be used in a mobile network. Okay. The problem with the traditional TCP is it always assumes congestion when there is a packet loss and it will go for slow start 
uh, but but this is not the scenario in a wireless network in a wireless network the data the data loss may not be always due to congestion it may be due to several other factors uh, because of the inconsistent wireless links and due to interferences and and there are many other reasons so we have discussed several classical tcp improvement techniques uh, so that the tcp will perform well in wireless networks like indirect tcp snooping tcp mobile tcp loss retransmit and recovery selective retransmission transaction oriented tcp all these things we have discussed and then we have discussed how how tcp uh, can be improved uh, by by fine tuning certain parameters so that it will work better on 2.5 and 3g networks right so this uh, session particularly concentrated on tcp uh, basically there are two main protocols in transport layer tcp and udp uh, but 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 we need not perform any changes to the udp udp as such it will work uh, well in the mobile networks the whatever the modification that is done in mobile ip that is sufficient for udp to work but that is not the case with tcp because tcp tries to provide reliable data delivery so to so tcp is bit uh, bit uh, bit complex so some improvements are required in tcp so that it will perform um, better in the wireless scenario so so in that context uh, we have discussed in this session right so let us stop here thank you